Good government prioritises the health of all Australians. As Health Minister, I increased GP training places by 25 per cent to improve access to the family doctor, and I established the $20 billion Medical Research Future Fund. To date, 903 research projects have been funded into Alzheimer's and many other diseases. During the Coalition's nine years in government, we listed more than 2,900 new and amended medicines worth $16.5 billion on the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme. We support the government's decision in this budget to fund new medicines and general practice. But there are many areas, two in particular, which Labor are not prioritising. The first is mental health. The Coalition increased the number of Medicare subsidised psychological sessions from 10 to 20. Labor dropped it back to 10 sessions for no reason. We will restore the 20 sessions and subsidise them and subsidise them on a permanent basis because that's what people need to get better. I want an Australia where we support Australians who are unwell, not an Australia where we leave those people behind. And this is crucial in the area of mental health, but secondly, in the area of women's health. The Coalition has a proud record in committing funding for endometriosis, stillbirths, breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Tonight I confirm our commitment of investing $4 million to Ovarian Cancer Australia after they've been forgotten, not just in October's budget, but in this budget as well. In addition, I announce the Coalition Government will allocate $5 million to review women-specific health items on the Medicare Benefits Schedule and the corresponding treatments on the PBS. Yeah. The review will identify what best practice women-specific medical services are not listed and ensure clinically effective services and treatments are affordable and accessible for conditions such as endometriosis and polycystic ovary syndrome. It's about determining where additional funding is required to better support women's health and wellbeing. Better access to quality care for women's specific pain conditions will improve the life, the quality of life of many women and the economic and social participation for hundreds and thousands of women in our country. As health will be a priority for future coalition government, so too will community safety. We will again fund the highly successful Safer Communities Fund. Yeah. This program supported at-risk communities across the nation and assisted multicultural communities to protect places of worship. Yeah. As a police officer, I attended my first domestic violence incident when I was 19 years of age and countless others over my decade-long career. From that time, I committed myself to protecting women and children from violence. As Home Affairs Minister, I funded and opened the $70 million Australian Centre to counter child exploitation, which has removed more than 500 children from harm. Tonight, I announce that a coalition government will industrialise our law enforcement and intelligence strike capabilities against sexual predators online and in our communities. Amen. We will double the size of the Australian Centre to counter child exploitation. Amen. I use this opportunity tonight to again call on the Prime Minister to hold a Royal Commission into child sexual abuse in Indigenous communities. Yeah. 